Welcome to another RSR. Tonight we are reviewing Nashville SC1, Inter Miami CF1 in the League's Cup 2023 final. 9-10 to 10 on penalties. Miami wins. It goes to keepers. And Drake Callender comes up with a big stop. Miami wins. Nashville SC 1, Inter Miami CF 1, Inter Miami Ganador en penales in La Liga's Cup 2023 final. Big, big match. Miami played well in the first half. The second half was pretty much all Nashville. I would say I think it was mostly Nashville. The second half, I did not like that. I think Miami got a bit close to... Got a bit coasting. I think they started to coast a bit. But in the end, they did their job. They won the match. Messi is your League's Cup champion. Miami are your League's Cup champions. Seven games. Seven wins. With the penalty shootouts, of course. I mean, technically. With that being said, goals are scored as follows. In the 24th minute, Lionel Messi scores. Ball played to the top of the box to Lionel Messi. He gets past Walker Zimmerman. He gets past Dax McCarty. All he could do was get past both of them. And he took a shot. Top bends. Puts it past Elliott to make it 1-0. Cero Uno Miami. And that's the way the first half would end. 1-0. Cero Uno Miami. But in the 57th minute, ball crossed in. Ball crossed in, headed down to Fafa Pico. He puts it into the path of Drake Callender. It deflects off a defender and Drake Callender and into the net. It does go down as a Drake Callender own goal in the 57th minute. 1-1, one, one, uno, uno, but Drake Callender would come back. He would, he would pay Miami back for that. Just you wait. Full time, 1-1 one, one at the end of the night before penalties. Uno, uno, esta noche. We go to penalties. Lionel Messi takes the first penalty, puts it past to the opposite side of Elliott. Hani Mukhtar bangs his penalty in past Calendar to make it 1-1, 1-1. One, one, uno, uno. Sergio Busquets scores his penalty, lofts it into the net. 2-1, Dosa Uno. Rondo Leal misses his penalty, saved, a kick save by Callender, make sure it's 2-1, Doso Uno Miami, Miami has the lead, Leo Campana extends the lead, goes to the opposite side, Elliott goes to the left twice, he'll go to the right this time, Campana goes to the left, it's 3-1, Anibal Godoy scores his penalty to make it 3-2, Tres Aros at the end of the round, Kamal Miller bangs in his penalty, Pops it into the net. Four to two. Miami lifting the trophy as we speak. Beautiful. Walker Zimmerman scores his penalty to make it four to three. Walker Zimmerman smashes the ball in. Victor Uyoa shoots it straight at Elliott. It's a save. Four to three. Walker Zimmerman, Sam Surridge scores his penalty to send it to sudden death. Sergey Kritsov scores and Shaq Moore answers. Jordi Alba scores his penalty. Daniel Lovitz answers. Gomez scores. Lucas McNaughton answers. David Ruiz scores. Sean Davis answers. DeAndre Yedlin puts it top bins. Jacob Schaffelberg answers. Drake Callender scores his penalty. And Elliott comes to take. Drake Callender way too close to the center of the net. Drake Callender saves it. And he was the one the own goal came off of. He scored a goal and he saved a penalty to win the cup for Miami. He pays Miami back. He gets it done. 10-9 to 9 on penalties for Miami. I don't know what that is in Spanish. Inter Miami ganador en penales. 1-1 one, one, esta noche. Inter Miami ganador en la penales. 1-1 one, one on the night, 10-9, 9-10 nine, nine on penalties. Miami have won the League's Cup, the first ever full-on Liga MX vs. MLS 57-team League's Cup. Miami, the bottom team in the league, they aren't with Messi. They win seven games, they win the trophy, they get the round of 16 berth in the CONCACAF Champions Cup. 
they're on. Stats are as follows. 11 shots to 6, 6 shots on goal to 2, 42% possession to 58% possession, 405 passes to 593, 84% pass accuracy to 90, 8 fouls to 9, 3 offside to 0, 1 yellow card to 1, 0 red cards to 0, 6 corners to 2. For me, Miami played well in the first half. They played well in the first half. The second half, on the other hand, I don't know. I think they let Nashville have way too much of the play in the second half. I think Miami got a bit too coasting. I think they got a bit too sure of themselves after they scored the first goal. And they let Nashville run the show for a while. I think Nashville played very well for this final. I think Nashville played amazingly. I think Nashville looked like arguably... I'd say they look like the better team, especially in the second half. I think Nashville did enough to get this to penalties. They arguably should have won. And Miami had moments where they arguably should have won before penalties. But Nashville, I think they wanted this more in regular time. I think they wanted to make a statement. I don't think they wanted to win on penalties, which they didn't. But I don't think if they won, they rather would have wanted it to be in 90 minutes. They knew damn well what they wanted. They wanted to win this game in 90 minutes. They wanted to make a statement. They almost did. I think the way they played, they did make a statement. I think they made a statement that Miami are vulnerable. And I guess Dallas did as well. But Nashville had moments where they looked pretty damn good. That they didn't look outplayed. They looked like they were equals. If not, maybe slightly better. Miami, they should have had a full-on fight. They should have believed in themselves. Not believed in themselves, but they should have kept on going. They should have moved forward, pushed, kept playing hard. They sort of gave Nashville an opening, and it didn't bite them until the 57th minute. And then after that, I think Nashville still were better after the goal they scored. I think there were moments where it was half and half, but I think Nashville definitely turned themselves into the better team as that second half went on. Once they scored, they were like, yeah, we believe we could do this. And arguably they should have. Arguably they should have. Leo Campana missing that last shot, that chip, sending it to penalties. Luckily for him, he didn't miss his penalty. Luckily for him, Miami won because he was this close. He was this close to winning the game in 90 minutes for Miami. He did not win the game in 90 minutes. I personally think, I feel like he put them in a tough position. I feel like he put Miami in a tough position. They won on penalties. I think they had the better penalties. I think Drake Callender had that amazing save. For me, that means I think Messi and Callender are both man of the match. I think Messi with the opening goal. I think Callender with the last penalty goal and the save. I think they're both man of the match. I can't fully give it to Callender because of the own goal. I can't fully give it to Messi because, well, he only scored one goal. But he scored the goal that sent it to a shootout. I think they both deserve man of the match. They both did their part. And the rest of the team did their part as well. I think Miami were a bit too comfortable. But in the end, it doesn't matter. They still won the trophy. But Miami should celebrate. Miami should celebrate heavily. They've had a bad season up till these past month. This past month. They got messy and their fortunes immediately changed. And now they're champions. They're going to the CONCACAF Champions Cup. They got a good 2024 ahead of them. They're a Champions Cup favorite automatically with the way they played League's Cup. They're going to get more players. They're going to get better players. Farias will be in the team. Aviles will be in the team. They'll have a good chance at Champions Cup. But right now, they did an amazing job winning the League's Cup, going from worst to first, pretty much. I know they still got to do it in the league, but from worst to champion. But without Messi, nobody would have thought Miami would have even got out of the group. They got Messi, and I'm like, Cruz Azul ain't great, and Atlanta's been struggling. They'll get out of the group. And then you're like, maybe they'll make a run. They're in a pretty easy side of the bracket. They did. They beat Philadelphia. 
best game of the tournament for them. They beat Nashville, who's not a team to scoff at. They do their job. So, Miami gets their revenge for the 2020 wild card game. They win the League's Cup. Nashville, keep your heads held high. You're a damn good team. You're a tough side. You deserved better. But a penalty shootout, y'all were neck and neck for the whole 90 minutes plus the shootout. And in the end, your shootout keeper threw you under the bus, legitimately. You can't score a penalty. You can sure save them. You can't score them. Ain't that something. With that being said, Nashville, be proud. You got better things to come. You'll, you'll get to more finals in the near future. So with that being said, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell your friends. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. Once subscribe, send super chats on the live streams. Comment on this video. Put us in play. This. Share with friends and family. All that great stuff. I shall see you tomorrow for a live watch along and review of Toronto FC versus CF Montreal. MLS is back. And you know what? I'm not ready for it. I'm going to miss League's Cup. This was fun. Now back to self-torturing myself. Yay. I'm Ron and I'm out. Peace. Congratulations, Inter Miami. Felicidades, Inter Miami. Commiserations, Nashville. What a tournament. It was such a fun time. What a fun month. Now back to self-torture. I'm out. Peace.